Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. Yes, we're here with another video. And like you can see uh, from my last video, it may look a little bit different. So I've just changed it around a bit. I've gone back onto the table. So if you prefer it this way, let me know and I can not do that. Go on that, because I'm on my workbench by where I do all my magic over there and I switched it back over here. So I've got more room. So if you prefer it this way, let me know. So this trick, um, I've already performed this trick and taught this trick on my channel, but I think quite a few of you might have missed it. It's very easy to do. It's pretty fooling as well. And obviously because it's new subscribers uh, added on every single day, you guys might not have seen it. So I'm going to show you this trick again. Hopefully you like it. And if you haven't seen it, you're in for a treat. So let's get into it. Okay, so here is what the trick looks like. This trick is, as well, is super easy to do. So if you're a beginner, you'll be able to do this. So the cards are mixed up and you give the cards to the spectator. I don't have anybody here. And you tell them to deal the cards down on the table and they can shuffle the cards if they wish and deal cards. You can even deal from the middle or deal from the bottom. It's completely up to them. They can shuffle and deal and stop wherever they like, okay? You tell them to pick the packet they just dealt and shuffled into two packets, okay? And that's what they're going to do. And what this is, what's going to happen is we're going to use the last two cards as like a generate. They're going to generate a random card from the last two cards. So we're going to use one as a value and one as a suit. So one's going to be a value and one is going to be a suit. And it really doesn't matter what they choose, okay? So let's just say. You want this is the value and this is the suit. It really doesn't matter which one is which. So value and suit. Completely fair. Okay. We don't know what the cards are. You don't, I don't. So you dash your spectators to cut the cards any way they wish and they will. It's a free cut from the spectator. So they said this is going to be the value and this is going to be the suit. So the value they choose is the jack of diamonds. They could have changed their mind, so it would have been the two of uh, the two of diamonds, but they want the jack of spades. You can ask them if they want to change your mind. Do you want it to be the jack of spades or the two of diamonds? Let's say they say, I want the jack of spades. That's their choice. So think about it. They... I've dealt the cards. They've mixed the cards and dealt them from the top, the middle, the bottom. Then they've they into two packets and they have decided that they wanted the jack of spades. They cut anywhere. And that's in fact the jack of spades. Crazy, I know. And that is the trick. It's very easy to do. You probably already know how to do this. You might have already seen me perform this on my channel already, but it's for those people who haven't seen it, because I, I do think this is a very strong trick. So what I'm going to do now is get the camera at a better angle and teach you guys exactly how to do it. So this is a tutorial of the trick. So there is a tiny little setup, which is this. I'm going to show you right now. You're going to take out the jack of spades, the two of diamonds, the two of spades, and the jack of diamonds. So that's, they're the only four cards you need. So put the jack of spades and the two of diamonds together, and the jack of diamonds and the two of spades together. Because if you look at it this way, this could be the jack of diamonds, which is this one, or the two of spades, which is this one. So it doesn't matter uh, which one they will choose at the end because you've got the predictions here, okay? So all I do is place one on top of the other, like so. If you want to do it the exact same as me, jack of spades, two of diamonds, two of spades, jack of diamonds, and all these go to the top of the deck. Now you're ready to begin the trick. So you can give the cards a false cut and false shuffle. I'm not going to go into that. Uh, I think I've explained loads and loads of times in my videos. So now you've got it set up there, you give the cards to the spectator to deal down. And when they deal the top four cards, which is the little setup, they can do what they want with the deck. So you just got to make sure they deal four down first. 
and then you can say to them you can shuffle the pack and deal more cards and they will it doesn't matter now because then four important cards are at the bottom they're not getting touched and you can tell them to deal from the middle from the bottom from the top shuffle the pack and carry on till they want to stop so in their eyes they have mixed the cards up even more while they're dealing the cards but really the setup is they've gone to the bottom okay so now what's going to happen is you tell them to deal the card into two packets and what's going to happen is it's going to bring these cards back to the top so when they deal like so and the spectator will be doing this like i've already just said them them four cards are now coming back to the top so <clears throat> you will take the two cards away onto the table and you're going to say look one of them is going to represent the suit and one of them is going to represent the value okay which we know it's the jack and the two we already know that so what we need to do <clears throat> is glimpse the top card you're thinking how are you going to glimpse the top card so what i do when i flip these cards over when i'm talking if you watch the performance back you'll see exactly how i do it uh, but i'm going to show you as well um you need to get the top card to the bottom and all i did for that is i just peeled off the top card and then shuffled the rest on top so it's now at the bottom okay again so where i was talking i was just sh shuffling the pack as i was speaking so now it's very easy to get a glimpse at the bottom card okay so you can this is what it looks like, and I, you might not see the glimpse where you're looking at right now, but now I've looked at the card just by spinning the pack. At your angle, what I'm doing is I'm just turning it till I see the bottom card. That's all I'm doing. You just have to know what the bottom card is, okay? Because originally this card was on top. You need to bring it to the bottom and then you just slip one card and shuffle on top. If you don't want to do that shuffle and you can't shuffle cards, I'm not saying you can, but if you can't, uh, just peel the top card off and place it to the bottom and spread. Okay, so you're talking, you're talking, and, say, and you, you can choose the uh, value of a suit depending on what you say, and you've just slid the top card to the bottom. Okay, I don't get my peak yet. You need to peak what the bottom card is. So this packet is in my left hand. I pick the remaining cards up and place it on top. So I've got all the cards and at the bottom is the card I need to glimpse. Okay. I still won't glimpse that card yet. Then I took the remaining cards on top and there is where the jack is. Okay. So now if you followed exactly the exact same as me, you should have a jack, red jack on top and a black two at the bottom. So now when I've got the cards in my hand and I'm explaining, do you want this to be the value or this to be the suit or vice versa? All I'm doing is just basically I'm looking at the card. So I'm grabbing the cards like so with my thumb at the bottom, index finger curl, middle and ring finger. I'm going to lift the cards up and glimpse in it. And then my left hand is going to grab it and turn it face down. That's, that's like really dramatic. At speed, it'll just look like that. Okay, so I know it's a two of spades. So now you're going to perform the, uh, the cross cut force. I, I, I imagine you all know that. I've explained this before. I'm not going to explain it because it works itself. You tell them to cut the cards, okay? And when they cut the cards, you're picking the bottom packet and just going to angle it on top. So now you know the two of spades is at the bottom, okay? Because obviously you've glimpsed it. They're going to cut the cards, and then this is the bottom half of the deck now. So when this goes at the angle, you know the top card will be the Jack of Diamonds, and the bottom card underneath it will be the Two of Spades. So if they say, I want the Two, uh, the two of Spades, you just pick this packet up and show the bottom card. If they choose the Jack of Diamonds, you still pick this packet up, but keep it face down, and tell them to take a look that they cut to the Jack of Diamonds. Very simple. So I'm gonna go through that one more time. If you don't need to watch the, uh, this again, that's absolutely fine, you don't have to, but I'm gonna go through it really quickly. So, the exact same order. Jack two, two Jack, it doesn't matter 
if that jack is there, it, it doesn't matter. So they go on top. I give them a, a false shuffle. I'm just going to perform it at this angle so you can see exactly how it works. So I want to deal the cards down, uh, okay? And you can actually shuffle the cards like so and deal from the middle, the top, the bottom. It really doesn't matter. And stop whenever you're happy. Right there, beautiful. So what I want to do is deal the cards into two packets. And what we're going to do, we're going to take the top random cards and they're going to generate two, two random, sorry, they're going to generate round one card with two cards, okay? So... One of them is a jack of spades, and the other one is a two of diamonds. And then you just, obviously, from there, you go into your cross cut. If it's a jack of diamonds, it's top, two of spades. You know, you know exactly how it works. But that guy is the tutorial of the okay, trick. So that is the end of the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. Yes, it is a very easy trick to do. There's no sleight of hand in there unless you want to put your false cuts, your false shuffles, but that is completely up to you. So if you like it, or if you like the trick, don't forget to hit that like button because that like button is what I need. And yes, please subscribe as well. And I'll see you next time.